Hallelujah. So, speaking about Apostle Paul, you know, in Acts chapter 9, Acts chapter 9, this what salvation can do. A man can be on a journey intended, you know, the Bible says, to men, they will say, where does cement right? That's the story of Apostle Paul. In Acts chapter 9, if you read verse 1 and 2, he was he went to the high priest. I said, High priest, I need a letter. I want to go and destroy these people more. I give me letter, let me be traveling. He didn't want for money for transport. He want to go about, he was enjoying it. To him, he thought he was serving God. There are many people today, like the situation of Paul in Acts chapter 9, verse 1 and 2, they have received the energy, zeal to go and do certain things that was not going to happen and that was going to lead them to encountering destiny. The Bible recorded concerning Saul, he, when he received Jesus Christ in chapter, the same chapter 9 from verse 4, the Bible recorded that he was changed. He became another man. But there's something where I'm going today, it's not because he was changed. You see, the Bible says that what a man saw, he will eat. I want to tell you, he went in chapter 8 to go and collect letter so that he can, and he was destroying people, throwing them into prison. In Acts chapter 23, if you read verse 12 to 14, some people vow a vow that they want to also kill him because he has not received Christ, he has not been saved, that they are not going to eat nor drink until they kill Paul the Apostle. That is what he did for Stephen. He stood there when they were stoning Stephen in Acts chapter 8. And the people now want to, they have taken oath not to eat or drink until they kill him. But you see where I'm going today. Whatever you have done before salvation, when you go to God for forgiveness and for deliverance, for healing, your sins are forgotten. The Bible says that they tried to keep up, but it didn't happen. They swore that they are going to keep. They called, they went to the high priest, like Paul also went to the high priest when he was sought before salvation. The high priest, give me a letter, let me go and kill people. Oh, so he took a letter and he was there when they were killing Stephen. But because he was saved, Things have changed. Government has changed. The people that swore and took oath not to eat nor drink until they kill him, they could not kill him. Why? Romans chapter 10, verse 13 says, Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Sir, if you can call upon him, you will be saved. Saved from your consequences of your past, saved from inherited sin and causes, saved from the problems the enemy wants to bring your way. That is what salvation can do. The power of salvation is still our topic. The Lord bless you. Have a great day.